Guys, welcome back. I'm Coach AJ, and today we're giving you 10 ways to improve your score without practicing. So often you tell me that you don't have time to practice, but we want to help you improve without worrying about getting to the practice team. Here we go. Let's start out with number 10. Countdown number 10. Have a short memory. You've been working too hard on your golf swing or your short game or your putting to let one bad shot or missed putt affect the rest of your game. So have a short memory and don't let that one shot throw you off your game. Number nine, play to your favorite yardages. Whether this is laying up on a par five or pitching out of the woods, go ahead and look at where the flag is and play to a certain yardage that you're gonna be able to attack that flag. Number eight on the countdown today is arrive in time to physically warm up for your round of golf. We know there's a lot of things we have to do before we play. The guy coming in on two wheels into the parking lot, running to the first tee, his body is not prepared for the round of golf is never gonna do well in his first hole. Go ahead and warm up, get the body ready, and no need to take that mulligan on the first hole. If you don't know any good warm up routines, go ahead and comment below and I can send you a couple. Number seven on our countdown today is stay hydrated. That if we don't stay hydrated, it'll affect our mental and physical performance, which will drastically hurt your game. Stay hydrated and you'll score better. Number six on the countdown, stop lagging your 10 footers. So often when I play in groups, people have poor performance on the greens and often it's simply just not hitting their 10 footers to the hole. Stop leaving those short and start getting them into the hole. If you have fear that you're gonna three putt from 10 feet, we need to go practice our putting, but you shouldn't have that fear. So from 10 feet, make sure you're getting it to the hole. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get all of our notifications. Next on the countdown, we have hit your favorite yardages. So often you might have a flag that's at 62 yards or 68 yards or 77 yards. Unless that's your stock yardage that you really love, go ahead and round to either 80 or 70. Don't try to play that 73 yard shot as it's gonna throw off your rhythm and your tempo. Go ahead and hit a great shot to 70, which will leave you just short of the flag, or a great shot to 80, which may put you just beyond the flag. If you wanna be a little more specific there, see which side of the flag has less trouble. Number four is test the putting green before you go out on the golf course. Too often I see people putting with range balls before they play. It's really not a great practice to test for steel or for speed. Go ahead and get three balls out of your bag, drop them on the putting green, and there's three types of putts I want you to hit before you go play. I want you to hit a couple three footers. Okay, hit a couple three footers to give you the confidence not to miss those on the course. Go ahead and hit a couple breaking putts so you can see how fast the greens really are. Great way to test that speed. Just how slick the greens are, how much movement there is, is just hit a couple 10 to 12 footers with a lot of break. And then lastly, before you leave the putting green, go hit a couple 40 footers. You don't necessarily have to aim to a pin when you're out there on the putting green, but just find somewhere on the putting green where you're not in the way of anybody else where you can test out a longer putt. I'm sure we're going to have a couple long ones out on the course. Number three on the countdown today is a tough one. Don't let things you can't control affect your performance on the golf course. Whether that's slow play, whether that's bumpy greens, whether that's a really chatty playing partner that's getting in your head, we're even talking about weather. If any of those things affect your playing performance, then you're not mentally strong enough to go low. Number two on today's countdown is one of my favorites. When you are near the green, the objective is to get on the green. So many players try to hit it close. But what do we have if we have a front flag and we have somebody who's just off the green? We see them stub it and stub it and stub it again and now it's taking them three shots when it should have taken one. Depending on the lie, you may feel like you're able to attack the flag. But if it's not a perfect lie and the pin's not in a great position on the green, let the goal on any short game shot be simply to get it on the green. If you never want to hit the same shot two times in a row and hitting back-to-back -back chips would definitely qualify. Number one on our countdown today is never give up. Payne Stewart was known for saying he never gave up on par and whatever your par is, I don't want you to give up on it. Whether you're turning sixes into fives or seven into six, if you currently give up three holes around, moving forward, if you stop giving up on those holes, you're gonna shoot three shots better, improving your handicap by three shots without even practicing. If you liked our video, please like below. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our countdown of top 10 ways to improve your score without practicing.